Welcome back, I'm Cho and we start off with the top stories. North Korea fired two projectiles into the East Sea on Thursday afternoon, just 29 days after launching new submarine-launched ballistic missiles. The North Korean newspaper Nodong Shinmun reported that the test firing of super-large multiple rocket launches successfully verified the North's combat capabilities. It also said that the rocket launches will become the key weapon of the North Korean army. North Korea's Nodong Shinmun reported on Friday that the test firing of super-large multiple rocket launchers conducted on Thursday afternoon was successful. It claims the test verified the safety of the regime's continuous fire system and combat capabilities. The newspaper added that the super-large multiple rocket launchers can destroy enemies' group targets with enormous force through surprise attacks and will become the key weapon of the North Korean military. The Dodong Shinmun also wrote that Kim Jong-un was extremely satisfied to receive the report of a successful test. This means Pyongyang's leader did not personally watch the test. The communist state tested what it called super-large rocket launchers back in August and September as well. Analysts believe two of the three projectiles launched from Pyongan Namdu province on September 10th failed to reach the East Sea. At the time, the regime warned of additional launches, citing the need for continuous tests. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced that it detected two short-range projectiles fired from the north at 4.35 and 4.38 p.m. Thursday local time. The JCS said the projectiles were fired from Suncheon, Pyongyangnamdo province, and crossed the inland area before falling into the East Sea. Their maximum flying distance was around 370 kilometers, with an approximate altitude of 90 kilometers. Military authorities of Seoul and Washington are analyzing the specifications of the fire projectiles.